Oh, well. Can you tell? Whoa, <laughs> my chair just sunk into the ground. You know, I lost weight, but still, goodness. All right, let's, let's try this again, folks. Uh, I'm not gonna sit down as hard. Gingerly, there we go. Hi, everybody, welcome to the backyard. Uh, yes, I did just finish mowing and I am filthy. It is a gorgeous, beautiful spring day. I don't even know what temperature it is. It's gorgeous. There's not a cloud in the sky, but there's a lot of grass in my shoe. These are my old lawn mowing shoes that I bought years ago. So I keep them just for this occasion oh, to get all the yeah, dirt out and everything. Oh yeah, wait till you see my socks. Hold on a second. I'm gonna show you one. Don't worry, this isn't a weird video. Look at that, look at, look at that. Okay, let's put that away. Well, you know, it is Friday, weekend's coming up, Easter weekend. As you can tell, there is someone else in uh, one of my neighbors is mowing their yard. I got that job done and I figured, well, why don't I just stay outside and shave? Why don't we just have a nice quick shave out here? And so I brought some stuff out with me. First of all, we're going to get out the old, oh no, not this one, sorry. Grandpa Grungy. Oh, what, what was that? Was that a bug? Or was that a bit of, uh, of, of cut grass? Anyway, Grandpa Grungy's here. And we got some aftershave. This is just down and dirty cremo. Cause I'm out here just in the backyard and I'm gonna break open the Barbasol unscented, fragrance free, I'm sorry. Fragrance free with vitamin E and aloe. So that may be for people that, uh, you know, don't like smelling things. <laughs> no, that might be like, you know, some people don't don't like strong smells. I've got a friend that uh, he can smell anything that he doesn't like and he's like, Ugh. so if you're one of those type of people, maybe something like fragrance free Barbasol would be for you. But uh, what are we gonna do for a sink? I don't have a sink out here. I'm not gonna bring out a giant bucket. I got a hose, folks. Oh, geez. <laughs> that water's gonna come out a lot faster than I expect. This is one of those, oh, sorry. I gotta get the socks out of the way here. Um, hold on. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, this is one of those cheapy, uh, well not cheapy really, one of those hoses that extends and contracts, but it's got a little valve on the end so you can get yourself all wet. Now this is going to be cold water because it's not hot yet. It's summertime, it's coming, it's time to mow the yard. I did not take a shower, I did not do my hair, but hey, I've got some uh, t-shirts available now. So look for the link below, friend of the channel, now I don't want to see your name incorrectly. So I'm gonna hold off, but uh, you know who you are and look on my Instagram, at Sinatra Lennon, and I posted uh, his name, and it was Geis, Geis, I'm not quite sure, but thank you, he sent me this beautiful design. Uh, check uh, in the link below on my, my Teespring uh, uh, webpage, and you can buy t-shirts. It says, I took a shower, did my hair. He, see, he did the whole design. I just tweaked the, the font a little bit and moved them a little closer together. And now it's for sale. And I think I'm gonna send him something over there. He lives over in the United Arab Emirates. So I can figure out, send him something for his, uh, for his trouble. So thank you, I appreciate it. Um, and please tell me how to pronounce your name properly. So next time I'll give you all the credit you deserve. Um, so anyway, I did not do either of those things, but I am going to shave, but you know, you can't shave with a shirt on, you know gotta take that off don't worry you're not gonna see anything else all right so let's go ahead and uh, start shaving now I haven't prepared my whiskers at all so if I turn this on a little bit oh no it's just it's just it's just coming out Ooh, if I do this if I crimp it a little there we go crimp it crimp I do have pants on don't worry than we're used to, but what the heck. Let's have a little fun, shall we? So here we go, the Barbasol Fragrance Free, which I have not used yet. Let's see what it smells like. Doesn't smell like anything. It smells like a propellant, like whatever propellant they might have had to use. But other than that, nothing. Okay, so I need to get closer to see myself in the phone as I lather up. This is, this is an interesting one. But yes, I got my hair cut the other day because it was driving me crazy. But uh, if you look at the took a shower, did my hair t-shirt, that's kind of the iconic image that he was going for. And he took my hair, just my hair. So it's black and then inside, very simple. Doesn't even say my name anywhere. So if you're wearing it and somebody asks you, tell them you don't know. 
All right, so I've got it. I did bring my towel out here, so I will be washing my hand off. There we go. I hope you don't mind the sound of the neighbor who's also over there uh, mowing. Maybe it's kind of a, a, it's a very, very American sound here. We got these big backyards. I know over there in the UK, you call them your back garden, but we call it a backyard, front yard. You know how his yanks are. I kind of wish I had a, uh, a bull out here now because this thing is gonna suck. They're coming out far, uh, anyway. All right, let's start shaving, shall we? So I can see myself, get right up there. I can tell, I've got a feather blade in here, by the way. This is the, uh, you know, my grandpa grungy, the 1960 fat boy. Wash them off. <laughs> Thank goodness for this little valve. It's great to be able to control it at the business end of the hose. Sort of like yelling at your kids, no, 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 turn off the water, no, no turn it off. Um, I can tell that since I didn't take a hot shower and my whiskers soften up that uh, they are, uh, uh, I can feel them more. I can feel the whiskers, they're stronger. They're stronger, but I'm gonna beat them. I'm gonna beat them, I tell you. I don't believe I've ever, I have shaved outside. I shaved outside at the island a few years ago. So go back and watch that. It's in the channel somewhere. Sinatra Leonard shaving on an island. And I've hung out in the backyard. You know, we have those scotch talks and we smoke pipes. I haven't done that in a long time. I know it's just, you know how things are. Sometimes you get in a kick and you do something a bunch and then you don't, you know, and then you get back into it later. So I hope to do that sometime soon. Sorry, I'm looking in the, uh, in the screen so I can see myself because I don't have a mirror out here either. Yeah, I can definitely feel that my beard hairs are not soft, and so it's not cutting through it like butter. They're still doing a good job. It's not tugging or anything like a cartridge razor normally would if you let yourself, you know, let your whiskers grow too long or don't take a hot shower or put hot water on your face beforehand. It is, it is cold water, by the way. It's not... Uh, did you ever drink hot hose water when you were a kid? Summertime, you're out playing in the yard with your friends and your brother, your sister, whoever. Throwing a throw. Oh, cinnamon. Cinnamon needs to give it. Cinnamon, come here. Come here. Get on the video. She wants to go inside. Anyway, you're outside playing. You need a drink of water bad. So you turn on that hose and you forget to let that, the hose length amount of water that's been baking in the sun all day to, you know, escape the hose first and you just right in the mouth hot, plasticky hose water. That was the name of my band, Hose Water. College. Ah, summertime. When I was a kid, we had a, uh, this little toy that you attached to the end of the hose. I think it was called the Water Wiggle. Scared the peewad anatomy. It was one of the, it was like a little plastic cup with some, some yarn hair, and then it attached to a long, thin, flexible hose and it would fly around like crazy and you couldn't tell where the heck it was going to go or where it was going to land or whose eye it was going to poke out. Water wiggle. Scared the poop out of me when I was a kid. Alright, I gotta go get the dog in. Hold on a second. Hold on, just enjoy the scenery for a second. Oh, look at that poor old Grandpa Grunge. You just lay in there in the grass. <laughs> See? <laughs> Got grass all over. All right, let's leave it. What the heck? Okay, so there's the first pass. We're well, only going to do two today, but that was, you know, we know how Grandpa Grunge works. And uh, Barbasol Fragrance Free is exactly like Barbasol Fragrance Full, but uh, Sin Fragrance. Sin, sin Fragrance? Is that right? I don't know. It ain't got no smell to it, folks. It does have a very, very mild smell. Like I, like I said, I think it's the propellant. I mean, just about anything is gonna have a smell no matter what. They just didn't add any more, you know, fragrance to it. Like the, you know, the world famous barbe Barbasol fragrance. All right. Here we go, second pass. Cross the grain and then we'll call it a, call it a day. I haven't eaten lunch yet. Ooh, what's going on here? Okay. <laughs> I 
I hope that if you're uh, celebrating Easter, that you have a fine, fine Easter, for you and yours. I hope if you're celebrating Ramadan right now, that you're having a good Ramadan. Uh, one of my son's best friends is, is celebrating Ramadan right now, and he's, uh, he's doing the fasting from, from morning till evening. A lot of big stuff going on in the springtime. Everything's starting to bloom. Allergies are, you know, off the charts here in Austin. That's one of the things that if you don't know about living in Central Texas, one of the prices we pay to live in a beautiful city, in a beautiful part of the country, is that the allergies here in the springtime will just knock you on your rear end if you're not, uh, if you're not careful. Now, it didn't get me for many, many years, but eventually... I don't know if, if my system just weakened or the pollen got more strong, but it really does get you bad. I dated a, a girl in college. If you're watching, hi. <laughs> and uh, she had to have uh, inoculations or vaccinations. She had to get she had to, she had to get a shot, folks, every spring because hers were so bad that over the counter remedies didn't work. But I go for the Claritin. The little tiny pills, little tiny, they don't make you, they don't decongest you, they just keep you from getting congested. That's what I use, but I use the, uh, like the Walgreens <laughs> version. Instead of Claritin, it's Walletin, you know. <laughs> That's like when you go to the, your local store and they've got their version of Dr. Pepper, but it's called like Dr. Romantic or, you know, Dr. Thunder, Dr. Dr. Salt instead of Dr. Pepper, you know, which, God, I hope nobody has that. They used to have a store called Piggly Wiggly here in Texas, and they had Dr. Pig. I used to love to go to Piggly Wiggly when I was a kid in San Antonio, visiting my grandpa. Just because I love that. I mean, Piggly Wiggly. Somebody sat down, a grown adult at some point, and said, what are we going to name this here grocery store? What, Foghorn, Leghorn, I guess. How about Piggly Wiggly? No, 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 no. How about, you know, Anderson's Food Mart? No, 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 no. I've got a dream. I want to turn the world on with a smile and a name. And that name? Piggly Wiggly. I'm not kidding. Of course, up in, uh, I think, Missouri, right? They have a Schwegman's, is that right? Or Schnooks. Is that it? Schnooks? Schwegman's? I don't know. I love those uh, regional grocery stores. We have H-E-B's here, Randall's, Kroger. I love going to Tesco. What, what, what is this? A supermarket grocery store talk? Come on. All right, I'm just, I don't know what I'm doing now. I'm just kind of like rambling. All right, it's time to shut this down. Did I get a nick? No, no, I didn't. That was from yesterday. Well, there we go. That's a serviceable deal with the... down wipe my face off. I got my phones all wet thank goodness they're pretty much waterproof water resistant up to a certain point hey that's not bad and then dry this off I got everything wet over here I've got a uh, my little setup over here is just my laundry basket turned upside down in the grass all right here we go a little bit of cremo never hurt nobody ah well there we go well, happy Easter, everybody. If you gotta go mow your yard, go out there and do it. If you gotta go out and tend your back garden, go out there and do it. That thing you've been putting off for a while, just go get it done, all right? Okay, that's my advice to you. And I, I will tell you that people are, are really interested in me using this feather. Um, I tried it. That's all I'll say right now. That's all I'll say right now. Okay, <laughs> all right, everybody. Time for me to go in, take a shower, and do my hair. Thanks for joining me out here in the backyard, and I hope to see you all very soon. Happy Easter. See you later. Bye.